the sweetest of films in an eco-friendly package. Today I'm going to be talking to you all about the wonder that is Street Candy's ATM 400 film. My name is Paul Mackay, welcome to the channel. Quick one before we get started, if you like film photography and want to see more videos like this one, film reviews, tips and tricks, that kind of thing, then please do make sure you're subscribed to our channel and notification to turned on. Thank you so much. Now the first question you may have is why is this film called ATM 400? The answer goes back to its origin story. Street Candy started this film with a big bulk roll of old ATM surveillance film. Now we all know ATMs, the, the hole in the walls cash machines, they have had cameras in them for many decades, partly to protect against or to learn from the ways that people were defrauding the machines and partly to identify when customers had become frustrated with either the machine or maybe how much money the machine told them that they had and took out that frustration on the screen and the keypad and caused uh, serious <laughs> financial damage to it. They have needed cameras in them for a long time. Of course, just like with Washi last week, which was the Russian aerospace surveillance film, this film, you needed to maximize the amount that would fit in because of course, every time you had to send someone out to kind of change the film, that's a significant cost to the bank or whoever is running the machines. So they were made very, very thin. And if you tried the first batch of ATM 400, you will have noticed that very thin base when it dried, it would curl up horribly, <laughs> really, really tightly. It made it very difficult to scan, regardless of the great images that you would then get. Good news is that while the emulsion has stayed, the base has got thicker, so the later batches of street candy are on more normal plastic backing. That's always quite a fun origin story. And the name has remained as well. Same emulsion, same name, ATM 400. So it is a 400 speed black and white film which means it is perfect for this time of year. It's pretty flexible. It can be pushed one stop with very little effect, still loads of detail. You can push it to 1600. It'll get a bit more contrasty, but it's still manageable. You should shoot it at ISO 320 under indoors tungsten light, although that is a subtlety that not all cameras will be able to cope with. It's good to know for, for, for truly accurate metering. When you look through the reviews on site, many people talk about this film as a really good beginner's film, and that is, a large part down to the flexibility and also I think a lot of the fun as well. Really lovely branding and we'll come on to that a bit more in a minute. There are people who have shot it as their first roll, their second roll, their third roll and really enjoyed the images straight away so that they absolutely love it. There was even somebody, Steve, I'm looking at you, who said that he accidentally overexposed it significantly by setting his camera at the wrong ISO, but the lab was able to pull process and get some great images out of the roll regardless, so he was absolutely thrilled, which is fantastic. So you know that this film will be able to cope with a variety of lighting situations. It does have some sensitivity towards the infrared area, not as much as we've seen on some of previous films, but it does mean that if you use a yellow filter or a red filter, you may also get some interesting shifts, some interesting results through it. So a really lovely film to try. Now I said we would talk a bit more about the branding and packaging. I love the, the, the colors are really gorgeous. You can see the inspiration stripes candy for street candy. This is the canister. And of course, the big difference is this is not a plastic canister. This is a paper, well, cardboard one made entirely of recycled and recyclable materials. We all know that film photography is a hobby that is based upon a lot of plastic and chemicals, and that is unlikely to change for now in the short term. However, that doesn't mean that we couldn't be looking at ways to minimize the use of those materials as much as possible, where possible. And of course, that's what Street Candy have done here. They said we don't need the, the plastic canister as well as everything else that goes in. So they've made it in something that is much more eco-friendly, which is absolutely lovely. And it looks great as well. They have the logo, a roll a day keeps the pixel away, which is excellent. I love trying to line up those. I'm quite obsessive about that when I've taken the lid off. Really, really gorgeous. Now, one other thing that Vincent from Street Candy did send me was a sneak preview that I'm just gonna show you quickly here of something that is coming up, which is going to be very exciting and continue their expansion of product lines. 
They're also responsible, by the way, for that gorgeous uh, Rolling Stones inspired film photography sticker, the, the tongue, the lick that came out at the end of November. And I'm really, really excited also to see then what else comes from their stable in the coming months. So there we go, Street Candy ATM 400. Now I'm gonna shoot this probably in a point and shoot, I think. I think I'm gonna embrace the fun, the flexibility, the fact that I'm not gonna to have to worry too much about it and just pop it in one of my point and shoots and just uh, have a lot of fun with it. If you are a Wonderbox subscriber, then please do comment below what you think you'll use with it, which camera you're gonna pop it in, you're gonna aim it at anything particular, just take it for your daily walks or uh, self-portrait series at the moment, of course. If you shot this film before, then please also do comment below what you thought of it, did you enjoy it, what were your experiences, of it and the results any different from what you thought you would get. Also for Wonderbox subscribers, this is the final January film. So we've had Cosmo Photo Mono, we've had Washi, and now we have Street Candy. So of course, we'll now be looking forward to this month's photo competition. The form is open for entries. If you can shoot, develop, scan and submit images from Street Candy, then I would love to see them. But of course, you can enter any photos taken on any Wonderbox film, whether that's December, November, or even earlier than that. Please do get involved, there are prizes to be won. It's really exciting. If you've enjoyed this video, thank you so much. Please do like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much.